and that necessitated uh, you know urgent preparations on our part to prepare for battle then uh, all of a sudden i think at about 15 hours there was uh, a rapid fire towards our direction a bit wild with uh, frequent shouts calling upon us to surrender and uh, the call to surrender was followed by shouts that uh, we were surrounded, it was useless to fight, terrorists surrender. Now, those of us who were in command now said, uh, look, chefs, nobody is allowed to pull the trigger before the target is properly identified and seen. There must be a clear economy of ammunition. We don't know how these battles are going to, to last. We have no supplies. So every bullet is precious. So there must be no panicky firing back. Now they continued firing and uh, clearly worried about our silence. There was deafening silence, a lot of tension. You must remember this was the first experience of a battle. None of us had ever been fired at. And I can tell you, it was frightening. Because these bullets were passing very close to us, over our heads. And uh, I remember some comrades actually panicked. And uh, there was one who, who came to, uh, to say to us that he was wounded. And we discovered that he was not wounded, he was just panicking. Uh, but the, the arrogant enemy stood up to say, uh, one of them said, uh, where are they? Can you see them? They had thrown caution to the wind, and I uh, suppose they thought that we were scared. And our comrade said, uh, he said in, actually in Zulu, and man, our fellows just opened almost at the same time and uh, shot two of them. And uh, fortunately, the, 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 the guys they shot were the commanders. And you see, a regular army, unlike a guerrilla army, depends on a commander. The commander is the key person. When the commander is, uh, you know, killed or wounded and is unable to command, you see, the morale of the regular army is affected. So there was a lot of panic on their part, and they began to run away. Then we, we began now to chase them and, uh, to, and to really, you know, dispel the attack. We neutralized the attack. And we discovered, you see, for the first time that, uh, look, we are dealing with people who are also very afraid. Because in running away, they left behind their weapons, their supplies of ammunition, food and everything. I mean, that is sort of a, any, a very undisciplined way of retreating, you see. You, you don't retreat and leave behind your guns, you see, because how are you going to fight again? So they ran away in a very disorderly manner. And that was our first baptism of fire. We're baptized now. We're stronger. We had, uh, the fear was gone. No, the nervousness, no, the, the throbbing of the heart against the briefs uh, disappeared. You see, we're all unnerved now. We're very cool and determined. But again, we had not been eating well for a very long time. So this was a welcome supply of food for us.